Hey, I just wanted to show you something that I've been working on recently, which I think is quite fun. So one of the projects we potentially have is to try and read ship gauges um, off of uh, various kinds of ships for various kinds of metrics. So uh, one of the things we thought about was, well, how do we train a an AI model um, to read various types of gauges and be able to turn those manual gauges into, into digital metrics. Um, so we asked um, our, our customer to send us a bunch of photographs of these gauges that they use. And we got back a set of various gauges that look like, look like these. This is RPM and some um, power their speed logs this is wind direction we've got fuel flow again these sort of weird gauges there's kilowatt hours more kilowatt hours this is now uh, rpm again um etc so so we can see there's a variety of different uh, gauges that you might find on ships um so one way of potentially training a model is of course just recording the video of those um of those gauges in real time uh, but that's quite difficult. So another potential approach is to render a whole lot of different examples of different gauges in a in a tool like Unity, and then and and convert them into images over time, and then train off of that data set. So here's one example of doing that. So I've created a an RPM gauge. Uh, let me turn off the gizmos. Yeah, and I'm able to sort of programmatically set an RPM value for that gauge. The gauge has also got certain parameters where it starts um, minus 120 up to positive 120. It also has things like um, its actual extents, um, its bounds, I suppose you might call them, um, things like that. So what we've what, well what, what what we've kind of done is is created a bunch of different RPM graphs. So I've got two three different variants. There's another variant. They're really all the same graph, but they look to, I mean the same gauge. They all just look slightly different. Um, and written a little tool called Recorder, which when you run this, will ask Unity to generate images one after the other with various, um, various orientations, various values, various backgrounds, um, take photographs of them. So here you can see it's, it's running. Um, and you should be able to see the theme here somewhere. Okay, well, I'll keep it running. Um, and so what actually is happening is in the background, we are dumping out all of these images. Let's have a look into the data directory. And so I will stop it, but that's pretty cool. And so effectively on disk, what we end up with is a JSON file um, and the, the image itself, so there's the, the first image that we generated, plus all of the details of that image. So where the bounds of the, of the gauge start in the picture, so it's top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right coordinates, where the center of the graph is, the minimum extent of the actual needle, the maximum extent of the needle, and the needle's current position where, where it is. So that effectively gives you, um, the extents would be there, 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 and there. Then the gauge center is obviously there. The minus, the minimum extent is here. The maximum extent is there, and the needle position would be somewhere there. Um, and so the idea is to just generate many, many samples of these graphs. Hopefully you can see them of these gauges, and then use it as a training set to train a machine learning model to. Be able to first of all recognize the the gauge, and then as be also be able to sample the extents and the actual value presented by the gauge. And of course, we randomize as much as possible around the backgrounds to try and create so that the model knows to ignore the background because it varies so much. And the backgrounds actually come from Google uh, Google Street View, um, and in Unity they are simply a set of um, of materials.
we've got all of these different skyboxes which are randomly inserted into the world for each image taken for each photo. Cool.